Shalom Chavarim! Shalom Chavarim! <laughs> Alright, let's mute this. Here we go. I think we're good. Can you hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> Hello? I can see you guys! <laughs> there she is! Oh good! Hey Haneke, thank you for being the first one to let me know. This is working! Praise Abba! Whew. You know last time there was a minute and a half of a trial <laughs> for me! <laughs> like, oh Abba, please work this out. I stopped streaming from the OBS software. I started streaming again and it was fixed. He fixed it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> but I am just enjoying you guys so much. And who was it? Was it Anne that said we're thankful? Oh, let me see. That caregiver is, is holding down the tent. That made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the Echad Squad give a big woo to J. Sweet Vanessa Wilkerson. Woo! <laughs> we are holding down the tent for our beloved Professor Allen. <laughs> and I am sending your love to him. You know, he's not reading comments right now, but he will be soon. And he will just need extra you know, containers to contain all the chedwa. I don't know if it can all fit in, the, in that little form, <laughs> but he's just going to burst. <laughs> so, and he, you know, it goes both ways. He loves you so much. He misses being on camera, but he is praising Elohim constantly with thankfulness for um, everything he's doing in this whole situation, including what we're doing here. He's very excited. Um, to know that you guys are coming to Abba's table on his channel in his temporary absence. So praise Abba. And I have a tough one today. We're, we're going we're gonna to go deep because that's where the Father took me. See, I'm already... <clears throat> okay. This is extreme thankfulness. And I think... Um, it, extreme thankfulness really is the only way to make Elohim number one on the list of one in your life. And that's why it's in the title, Thankfulness and Make Elohim Number One on the List of One. And I, I'm crying already because I haven't done it. I haven't had extreme thankfulness. And yesterday when he dropped this on me, it started changing my walk immediately. And I'm praying the same for you, that the Ruach just blows this wide open in each one of your lives, because I know you'll relate. And, um, you know, we're going to go from Tuesday's study about how there's really, we shouldn't have any piece of paper titled bad things in our lives, because there are no bad things in our lives. Whether we've gone our own wicked way or Yahweh has allowed Hashatan to sift and test and wreck our lives or however it comes our way, Yahweh is the author and finisher of our walk. And that means every breath we've taken from the time we were born to the time we either, um, you know, we fall asleep in Mashiach, or we're taken up. I mean, we're in that last moment, but not everyone has been that has put their trust in Elohim and will be raised up on that day. So if we don't have any bad list anymore, that's the first step. Everything's on the good list. Understanding that is a big deal. Um, and if your if your friends and family and churchgoers out there think you're nuts all now, wait till you process this. <laughs> They're gonna think you have gone off the deep end entirely if they don't already. So hang <laughs> on. <laughs> okay. So take everything. You know, you've taken everything. You've put it on the good list. 
and you're thankful for, I assume right now, you're thankful for how Ab is using it, the good you see come out of it. Um, you know, after our study on Tuesday, you're thinking about how it's perfecting you, and that's really where we're going this time, and that is that we got to move the thankfulness up in the process of getting information in our lives, having something happen that we used to put on the bad list. Now we put it on the good list. Here's the thing. Be thankful immediately. Thank you, Father, for this problem. Because a problem, I'm, re I'm learning by your Ruach to remove it out of, from my vocabulary. Thank you for this experience. <sighs> And that's, that's rough. That's difficult. You know, when you go in a, a prayer group, you've all been there, right? <laughs> and everybody's essentially whining about their problems. If you sat there and said, everything I've heard tonight, there's not one problem here. Because Abba Father has, is using all this, whether we can see it right now or we can't, doesn't matter. <laughs> they chase you out with a broom. I mean, really. <laughs> but this is really the essence of making Elohim number one on a list of one in your life when everything that comes your way is something you praise and thank him for before you see the good in it. Because... You know, we talk about Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I think it's 35, 11, I'm not sure. It's the one we all know about our plans, <laughs> the plans he has for us. <sighs> plans not to harm us, but to give, but to prosper us and to give us a hope and a future. Well, I got to ask you, I always thought that was, temp you know, our lives here. But really, how much hope... And what future do we have while we're here? When he spoke those words to Yeremiah and had him write them down, that was before Yeshua even came and did his work on the stake and died and rose from the dead. We could put our look back and put our trust in, in that. I mean, that was... He, I'm just getting at, they definitely couldn't be expecting the Nechatef, the rapture, before Yeshua even came. But they knew their Redeemer lived. Yov said, I know my Redeemer lives. And there was his hope. He didn't have hope or a future in his circumstances. They were awful. And even if, uh, even if our lives aren't as bad as Yov, we're still in Satan's world. We're in the world. We're not of the world. But no matter how good our lives in the world may be, it's still Satan's world. We don't have a hope and a future here. So these plans he has to give us a hope and a future are for the kingdom, are, you know, the, the, the same place and time where we're going to look down and see that embroidery on our hem. So, um, you know, I just want to give you a couple practical examples of extreme thankfulness. <laughs> and yesterday, when all this came to me, I thought, I need to reframe things and thank Abba Father, not just for working those things out, for making rough places plain, for making crooked places straight, but for the crooked places, for the rough places. <laughs> Whether I saw and I could look back at 2020, you know, hindsight and all, and see the good that came out of it, or I can't, I need to be thankful. And I, I thought, what is the, if you measure the most painful thing in your life by tears, I can tell you that the most painful thing in my life was when I lost my friend Troy. And I have thanked him for Troy's life. And I've thanked him that, you know, like in Alan's song, um, Planet of Love, he's like a watchfire lighting the way home. 
from the Shamaim, I look forward to seeing him and I thank the father for that. But he said, you need to back up, back up to where you start thanking me for taking Troy. So I did. And as you can see, it's painful just because we're thankful doesn't mean what we're going through isn't painful. That's the nature of our flesh. That's the nature of this vapor of a life. Um, and I believe that when he said, I'll wipe every tear away, that he's saying there isn't going to be a long line of tear wiping. You know, we all good. It's my turn. <laughs> um, I think what's going to happen is our tears will be wiped away when we look at just how awesome all our trials really work together to be. So go through your, your life, if you will, with the Ruach. Pray first. Say, Father, show me things I should be thankful for that I have kind of shoved to the side and said, well, I guess there was a good thing that came out of it. I'll, I'll thank you for that. Thank him for all of it. And when you do that, that's you making Elohim number one on the list of one in your life. And also when you do that, you know, Kepha, Peter, talks about being ready to give a reason for your joy. And we're all eager to share our walks with Elohim, with others, and no one seems to ask. Well, maybe they're not asking because we're not really walking in joy for them to ask about. And I got to tell you, I got another opportunity very recently, actually yesterday, to immediately be thankful and to have a reason for, for someone to ask me for my joy. And Sh Cheryl, I hope you're here. Cause I'm so thankful for you. But, um, you know, I got a call from a friend of my biological father, um, not my step dad with my mom who were there up there Kodesh my mother and my stepdad hey guys <laughs> but my father who's in the dark and been in the dark his whole life had a heart attack after his back surgery and came out of it with dementia and um you know in years past I really as a Christian even would have disintegrated, burst into tears. This is terrible. He's in Florida. How am I going to do? And this, you know, the father was in the middle of giving me this message for you. And there it was. I'm like, okay. I think that's what I said. Okay. And what else? <laughs> and we got, we were able to really talk and share on a deep personal level. I hadn't even really talked to Cheryl before yesterday. And at the end of our conversation, I was able, she asked basically in so many words, what's the reason for your joy? And I shared with her how we're saved by Hana through Aman and introduced her to Alan's channel which she wrote down and I again I hope she's here <laughs> so excited um so that was a moment that would have been lost you know we've got to get extreme thankfulness in in fast it counts the more you're pitching tense the less time elapses between a moment you know what I'm talking about one of those moments and your understand moving it from the bad list to the good list and then say oh yeah I'm supposed to be thankful about that <laughs> the more opportunity you're going to have to be used for your chedwa your joy um, the earlier you have extreme thankfulness and I hope I made it plain 
that by extreme thankfulness, I don't mean extreme happiness. That's for later, when we don't have this, this flesh. But our flesh will be redeemed, and then we'll have the whole picture. And it is going to be awesome. So I'll just close the message with Alan's lyrics. Take a good look at what you can't see. And keep your eyes fixed on that. Which brings to mind a little uh, something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he, sh he showed me the exchange between Thomas, or Doubting Thomas, and Mashiach in a new light. You know, I, I know the context was him saying, unless I see the scars and see he resurrected, I won't believe. And Mashiach said, as you know, Baruch, blessed are they who believe and yet don't see. And I, I want to, I have Yahweh's permission to expand that to what you don't see about everything. We don't know nothing, but we trust and we walk in the truth of his malchut, his kingdom. So even if you don't see the technical good, thank him before you see it. And you may not see it before we're either taken home in the nechetef or we're taken home in sleep. Okay, now I think that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's look at the chat. You guys have any questions or comments? Let's see. I don't want to forsake the fellowship. <laughs> and I feel like I don't have quite as much of a rash today. Praise Allah. <laughs> I've been asked to sing, Yahweh is a man of battle. Yahweh is his name. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's all I want to do now. My face is hot again. <laughs> oh, man. That was for you, Cammie. That was specifically for you, <laughs> sister. <laughs> oh, praise God, but that was fun. Ah, oh, we have Tiffany. Uh, we are choosing to be thankful because we agree with what his word tells us. He causes us to recognize that we have every reason to be thankful. Amen. Amen. Woo. Let's see. What else have we got? Questions? Now I get everybody singing. Nobody's thinking about the study. <laughs> love you, sisters. We love you, too. The Echad squad loves you. Oh, praise Abba. Cami says the Ruach is leading you so beautifully, Care, I just praise Abba. This is so clearly not me. I hope it's so clear that it is not me. Because <laughs> I never would have I, I never would have come up with any of this because I know nothing. I I nothing. <laughs> ah, Yahwa, the Kodesh letters that we don't say holy because that's from sun worship vocabulary but yes kodesh dedicated letter to almighty's name yes we don't say god either but yahweh praise yahweh oh man we're so glad you guys are here clear as crystal awesome daniel carrick Woo i don't have the sound effects darn it <laughs> oh gosh uh, I can do the hello, though, pretty good. Hello. 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 <laughs> Was that fun? Ask about Ephesians 5. Julia, what is your question about Ephesians 5? I think I did a study on Ephesians 5 the last time Alan was out. And yeah, click, 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 click. Hello. Um, I've done a study on Ephesians 5 about the spiritual warfare. If you go back to the live streams in Alan's playlist, go to July of 2018, 
and you'll see the ones that have the thumbnails of me or something he I think he wrote oh yeah I changed them and he wrote with caregiver or something like that and um, watch those and you'll find one on Ephesians 5 and also I believe Alan has done the entire book of Ephesians so anything you could possibly want to know about Ephesians 5 is already covered on Alan's channel Woo! <laughs> Ah, Vanessa, on my phone, laptop, not connecting, a little behind on the chat, no problem, praise Abba, thank you Abba for this non-problem, <laughs> and for how it's perfecting Vanessa, yes, see Alan's playlist, Ephesians, and whichever one I did last year on Ephesians 5 in particular, all right. Ah, awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't. Oh, Julia is new to the channel. Praise Abba. This is exciting. Also, when you go to uh, you find your answer in Ephesians, go to the newcomer playlist and you'll find Alan's approach to ministry in the first one. A lot of great newbie information. What is Ruach and Elohim and all these words we use a lot and then there are maybe 20 foundational studies that I just told uh, someone else that was um, looking for oh, looking for the truth the real truth and nothing but the truth that they are power wash studies that's what Alan's main mission here is given to him by Abba Father Yahweh is to power wash the mud <laughs> off what we think is the Bible and you are gonna just love those 20 studies and while Alan's out it's a perfect time to take your study time and put it into those studies so praise Abba you're here stick with us Alan will be back shortly <laughs> all right so Jose, praise Abba in the rain, praise Abba in the valleys, praise Abba in the storm, amen, amen. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to click the stop, stop screaming as soon as we pray. Okay, so everybody just bow your hearts with me and thank Abba for our time together. Precious, precious Abba Father, Yahweh. Who we thank you. We do thank you. Help us to have extreme thankfulness that we don't have any time to have be anxious about the things that are coming at us in this satanic world because we're too busy thanking you for everything. You are the author and the finisher of our walks. And that means that nothing can happen to us that you aren't directing and using for our good because we love you and we're called according to your purpose. Father, help us to remember all day, every day, as things come at us left and right, that you have, you are using every single thing for our good. Let us not walk in the dark then, but stay in the light. Mashiach, the light of the world. And therefore, we can praise you and thank you for being even greater lights. That we give light to everyone in the room. We thank you and we praise you for all that you're doing in all of our hearts. As we see the great day approach. We pray in Yahweh, through Yeshua, and all the Kodashim, the dedicated ones, the called out ones, said, Amen. Randall gets first. <laughs> all right, love you guys. Shalom.